excuse me. Chase here, and thanks for watching. Because um, I ain't done yet. Uh, this video is for a cousin of mine. I spoke. I had the opportunity to visit with him today after about 40 years. Uh, yeah, it's been that long since I've got to uh, just spend some time with him. And it was a good visit. Uh, 40 years is a long time. I hate that that many years went by. But I want to make sure that uh, here in the future that we continue to get together and, you know, spend time together. And as I want to do with all of my family. Because I ain't done yet. Um, this all started <clears throat> when I bought a zip line. I'm sure most of you guys know what a zip line is. And if you don't, look it up. You got the internet. <laughs> Google. I love that word, Google. Hey, baby, come here. Let me Google you. <laughs> anyway, um, about seven years ago, I bought a zip line. And I was telling some guys at work about it. And they were like, um, What are you doing buying a zip line at your age? You're like, Well, older than dirt? At the time, I was 47, 48. I'm 53 now. And I was like, no. When I was uh, 20 years old, you know, I was, I mean, uh, yeah, when I was 20 years old, I was doing things that I can't do now. A week, a month, a week, a month, a year from now, I might not be able to do the things that I'm doing today. So I'm going to do what I can, when I can, while I still can, because I ain't done yet. Implying that I wasn't done living. I wasn't done experiencing new things. I wasn't... Uh, done finding out what I could do, finding out what my limits, not just my limits, but what my abilities were, uh, that there's so much out there in our lives to experience that we just need to keep an open mind and say, Hey man, that looks fun. Try it. You know, I rode bulls. I bought a surfboard. Um, I've got snowboards. I've had motorcycles. Um, I bought a sailboat. I don't know how to sail yet, but I'm going to get it tagged, and um, next summer I want to get it on the water. Um, I'm supposed to go skydiving. I'm going to go parasailing next year. There's a lot of things that I still want to plan on doing. I'm, I'm writing a book. Um, three books, that actually, four books, actually, that I want to write. The first one is called Life Sucks. But because I ain't done yet, um, that's a bold say, statement. I'm going to do what I can when I can while I still can because I ain't done yet. But it's motivational. It's inspirational. And I thought, you know what, I'm going to put that on a shirt. And uh, at the time, I was making good money. My kids were grown. I wasn't paying child support anymore. So I started having these shirts made, um, hats, hoodies, tank tops. You know, people with special order, different shirts. And I gave away about 40% of the items that I had made up. Because, like I said, I was making good money. And I wanted people to have these shirts. I went to a thrift store that... I frequented it quite often, and there was a guy behind the counter, and I was wearing one of my shirts. He said, man, I like that shirt. So I'm the guy to talk to if you want one. And <clears throat> I'm a very emotional person, so bear with me. I used to apologize for it, but now I own it, so bear with me. <laughs> but he said, you know, I'm a recovering addict, and my life's not over. I'm starting over. Because I ain't done yet. And so he was one of the guys that I gave a shirt to. And I thought, you know what? Because I ain't done yet, it means something different to other people. For him, it was starting his life over. For me, it was implying that I wasn't done living. That I was going to expand my experiences. And so I thought, what does that mean to me? So... I defined what, because I ain't done yet, I refer to it as because I ain't done yet initiative because it initiates action for you to uh, do things. And so I asked myself, you know, what does it mean to me? And this is how I define it verbatim. If I have the opportunity to experience or do something to enhance this thing called life for myself, others, or both, then do it. I didn't say if I felt like it, if it was convenient, if I thought I could, I just said do it. And uh, prior to that time, I loved to talk. And people told me, you know, uh, I should be a motivational speaker. I should write a book. And I just like to talk. And I'm going to try to quit saying and. But people would gravitate to my words. 
Um, there was a gentleman that I spoke with at Walmart, and he was by the fishing gear. I went in there to get some plastic lizards. That's my favorite thing to use when I was fishing. And he said, going fishing? I said, yeah, I just had to get some plastic lizards. We started talking. He said, well, I better go find my wife before she sends out a search party. We started talking again. And after a while, this guy's shoulders, they relaxed. And then he leaned up on the end cap. And we talked for about another 20 minutes. But whenever people suggest initially suggested that I speak publicly and uh, write a book. Uh, I wasn't opposed to the idea, but I wasn't receptive to taking on the task. But whenever I defined, because I ain't done yet, and with that last night, do it, writing the book and speaking publicly in the manner that I do, <clears throat> excuse me, that I do, it has the potential to help others. And by my definition of because I ain't done yet, I had to at least try. And so I haven't prepared yet an outline for speaking publicly. Uh, mostly, most of the time when I talk to people, it's strangers, family, friends, and it just flows naturally. And as far as the book goes, uh, the first book that I'm writing is called Life Sucks. It's not defeatist. It's not nihilistic. It's just the idea that, you know, well, sometimes life sucks. I wish I was a little bit taller. I'm four, I'm um, not four foot. I'm five foot seven and three quarter inches, <laughs> uh, maybe five foot seven and a half, maybe five foot seven. I don't know. It's been a while since I've uh, measured my height, but you know, I wish I was taller, more athletic, a little bit more intelligent. I wish my hair wasn't thinning and receding. You know, life sucks. But once you accept the fact that there are some things in your life, <clears throat> excuse me, that you can't control that are stagnant and finite, that allows you to redirect your attention to the things that you can change. And uh, that's kind of where I'm at in my life. I've made a lot of mistakes, bad decisions, poor decisions. Um, didn't have any focus in my life. Didn't have uh, a plan for my life. I was kind of winging it. I have a previous video titled, um, uh, I Was At Fault, speaking about my previous three marriages, which resulted in three divorces. And I take ownership of that. Um, if, if I don't have a direction for my life or a plan for my life, how am I going to recognize a woman that I might want to share that with? I wouldn't. And um, although there was a physical attraction, um, our uh, mental and spiritual, uh, we didn't have the capacity to uh, come together in that manner. Uh, my first wife, well, I'm not going to get too far into it. You, I have other videos that talk about uh, uh, mental, physical, and spiritual. Uh, the meaning of love and how that applies to it. But um, this is for my cousin. This is how, uh, because I ain't done yet started. Uh, consequently, that's the title of my second book. First book is Life Sucks. Second book is Because um, I Ain't Done Yet. Third book is That's Not Your Problem or That's, oh, sorry, let me begin again. Third book is That's Not Your Problem or That's Not Your, pro that's not your Problem. It's kind of a play on words. And I won't get into that anyway, either. And I've been contemplating whether or not to write a fourth book. Of course, I have to get finished with the first one. I have the introduction and uh, uh, the dedication and the first three chapters. I still have two chapters to write, and I've been working on those. Uh, I'll give you the uh, dedication real quick. <laughs> uh, this bit book is dedicated to... <clears throat> this book is... Dedicated to my mom, Linda Jean Mankiller, who I remember once telling me that um, if you don't like what happens when you do stupid shit, then quit doing stupid shit. <laughs> so that's kind of where uh, I'm at with, because uh, I ain't done yet, giving you that backstory, a little bit about uh, the books, and uh, well, I'm starting to ramble, and that's usually my cue to shut up and end the video, so uh, I'll talk to you guys later, okay?